sets herself up early, probably far too early, because they had to hold the shot to just sort of adjust to find out where Edgar was going to pitch it. In the end, Edgar went stump to stump, you miss, I hit. That's exactly what she did. Very comfortable with ramps and paddles, Alice Capsi. Not unusual to see her play this shot. Perhaps just lost a sense of exactly where her stumps were on that occasion. Amy Edgar hasn't bowled a lot of overs this season for the Scorchers. That's a great call there by skipper Sophie Devine. Really important partnership to break there before it really got a chance to get going. Capsi gone for 18. The Stars now three for 86. It just chips, holds the shot, and a little bit of communication might have come in and handy. Thankfully, though, Sophie Devine gets her hands around it, gives a quick look up to Marazan Cap, who can smile about it, <laughs> which is also <laughs> very thankful for Sophie Devine. And it is the third wicket in the power surge for the Scorchers. Well, typically, they average less than one, so for them to have taken three, particularly with a couple of nice partnerships built throughout this innings, the show of faith in Amy Edgar continues to pay dividends. And tell you what, Shelley Nitschke sitting in the dugout there, seeing those two players potentially collide. One game out from maybe a finals berth probably wouldn't be a great feeling in the pit of the stomach. Everyone's come away unscathed. Another wicket for Amy Edgar. Skipper Fulton gone for five. The Stars now six for one, three, four. As Edgar comes in for the final over and gets the wicket of Raymond Hoey. Yeah, well, Amy Edgar stepping up last over. They bowled really nicely into that leg stump. And Hoey just going across the line. Just trying to push it normally an opening bat. So that stance, interesting stance, but just went straight across it and around it. Big gap there. Takes out the leg stump. Can't add to the score. Raymond Hoey out for none. Eight for 167. Good finish this by the Scorchers.